na 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 release day! Yay! Actually, I probably will upload this this afternoon just to make sure everything goes right, so it's technically the day before release day, but I'm going to be linking these on my profile on release day, so hopefully that's when you guys will see them. Anyway, this is me, and I am hiding in my bedroom, hoping that nobody comes and knocks on the door and ruins the video shoot, which inevitably happens at least two or three times that I try to record these things, because I am going to oh, answer some questions from my Facebook page about whatever it is people have asked. So I will go and look at them, and I will record a video for each one, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this, and we will interact at the party, and you will read the book and like it. So Paige asks, and she's from the Electively Paige blog, which I will link in the comments. Do you have any writing habits that others might see as quirky? Also, have I learned to keep the scissors out of reach? I will answer the scissors thing first because that is referring to I should post some pictures of this but um, my daughters have a bad habit of cutting their own and each other's hair among other things so um, no I will never learn to keep the scissors out of reach actually kind of the hair grows back fast and you know they my, my little one climbs on everything so no matter how high I think I put stuff she gets the scissors and the big one she should really know better than to cut her hair. She is seven. That is too old for those kind of shenanigans. But she does it anyway from occasions. She, what happened with her was she thought her bangs were too long, and I cut them, but she thought I didn't do a good job, so she went and recut them. Well, I guess it's not really air quotes because she actually did cut them, but she cut them better in her head. But it looked really awful. <laughs> But it's growing back, and the most that happens is she has an embarrassing haircut for a few weeks, which I could care less. My idea of doing hair is like running a comb through it in the morning, and that's about it. Though I did do a little braid thing today. See, this is my idea of a hairstyle. I've got like this red... Oh, no room. Anyway. Um, so, my writing habits are not really that quirky. Um, I, I do kind of a hybrid between computer and uh, pen and paper. Sometimes I can do computer writing flat out, and especially if I'm doing word sprints, because I like to be able to um, calculate. One way I, I can get a lot more done is if I set a timer for myself for 10 minutes and see how many words I can get on the paper in that time. It makes me much less likely to mess with my music or check and see if I have an email or something that might distract me. Because, you know, if you're writing on a computer, distractions are a big thing. And I also write fairly frequently on pen and paper. Um, I like rollerball pens. They have to be this one kind, which I should have brought one to show you. Um, but no, I'm pretty pretty basic in my writing ways. I just kind of write it all out. Um, sometimes I usually have tea and drink and coffee and stuff at hand. That's pretty obvious. And uh, my first drafts are pretty much what I end up with. I do little edits and I do some changes, but I, I'm pretty instinctive. I just kind of like to sit down and scrub it all out. So that's me. Pretty unquirky in my writing. I just think I'm pretty quirky in every other way, but um, it's mostly just, mostly just oddness. 